Over the years, among the fellows who have crossed this very stage, uh, we've often had great African-American sacred music, including some of the greatest old-time gospel quartets, Southern Ring Shout folks, sacred harp singers, harmonica playing preachers, all giving us glimpses of one of the strongest and most varied of American musical streams. Tonight we have one of the sources and backbones, and I've been saying maybe the trombone, I should say, instead of backbone, uh, in the tradition of the Shout Brass Band from the United House of Prayer. Locally here in Washington, we call it God's White House. Up there in Harlem, they call it Sweet Honey Heaven in Harlem. Please welcome from the United House of Prayer, the National Heritage Fellow and Director of the McCullough Sons of Thunder Brass Band, Edward Babb. How you doing? Good. All right. <laughs> Eddie and I know each other, so if we're a little informal, I hope it'll be okay with you. You think that'd be all right, Eddie? Sure, Nick. Oh, why not? Why not? Now, just tell them, how many houses of prayer are there in the country about this time? 134 houses of prayers in e 25 states. Each with a band? Just about. Yeah, some with several bands, maybe. Several. There was three bands right in the mother house of prayer in Harlem. In Harlem alone, yeah. And we've got, I think, three or four here in D.C. It's a lot of bands. It's about 200 shout bands in the whole organization. Yeah, making a joyful noise all over the country. All over this world. And it's a, it's a tradition, really, that a lot of people aren't quite as aware of. They're more aware of, say, a brass band from New Orleans, I think. But you're going to change that. You really already have changed that a little bit, haven't you? Oh, well, we're just making people aware of what's going on in the house of prayer. Now, I see that trombone in your hand. When did you pick a trombone? It's 1957. Out. Yeah. I picked it up. Um. I can play this thing. <laughs> Before that, you probably had some early memories and feelings about music. What got you to make that, that choice to pick it up and, and give it a, a two? It's, of course, my idol. In the house of prayer, you have young children coming up looking at the bands. And there was a young man called Charles Whitney at the time, still with us. And I admired his horn playing, his style of playing. And uh, when I picked up the horn in 57, I played one of his songs. And then my style grew later on. I know when people are at the church, uh, there's a tremendous amount of spirit feeling when the bands get going. Some preachers say that they just kind of let the band take over at a certain point. Can you describe the spirit, how it works for you with the horn, with the music, the people? Sure. The spirit primarily, we believe, is the spirit of Christ in the form of the Holy Ghost. And that with fire. And that will cut and divide the spirit from the soul. And if you meditate on the music that's come from our time, you will have to feel something. If you're sick, the music can make you better. If you have a headache, depressed, it will uplift you. So the spirit of it, we said, is all that. I think I have a witness. <laughs> yeah. Could you give us a little of that spirit right now? Oh, sure. Let's kick it off with Eddie Babb and the United House of Prayer, McCullough Sons of Thunder. Oh, yeah. 